Hey guys, it's your boy Firemancer. So I get the question quite a bit. Um, what is sim crafting? How do I use sim crafting? Um, I really want to know um, if this item is better than that item. What trinket do I use? Blah blah blah. So I'm gonna make a, uh, a quick, short and sweet video here. It's not gonna be too long. Um, but it's gonna go over how to install Simulation Craft, um, as well as the add-on in-game, how to set it up, and a few tips and tricks on how to run it. Right? Cool. Um, so let's get started. Right? So. This is just straight up going to be sim simulationcraft.com. I'm going to click on the downloads tab. I'm going to go right through here. You can click right here to down the actual version, but we're actually what we're going to do is we're going to go to the nightly build of SimCraft. So what SimCraft is, what the nightly build is, it's basically um, a day-to-day -day update. As it says right here, we upload new Windows builds every few days here. These releases may be buggies, but they will be up to the up-to-date version. So we're going to click on that link. It's going to take us to this page right here. And I feel like people see this page and they're like, oh my God, what do I do now? Um, we're actually going to click on the, the latest one. It's going to be the .exe, which is going to be execute to load the software we're gonna click on that that's gonna give you a nice little lovely download um, I'm running Windows 8.1 here so what is basically what's gonna happen is uh, blah 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 Windows smart screen whatever the hell that is is going to tell me that running this app may be dangerous to my PC however we know and I trust this program and I've been using it for quite some time so I'm gonna click run anyway I'm gonna click yes here and now this is gonna pop up because I already have some craft installed but we're gonna go ahead and uninstall it and I will install the new version for this video, right? So this won't take long at all. Slowly but surely. And we're going to click, yes, we would like to launch SimCraft, bada bing, bada boom, we have it. Now we are actually in the program SimCraft. Now once you're actually in this program, there's gonna be a lot of different tabs here. Um, you can have a results tab. I mean, pretty much your welcome screen is going to be um, little quick tips of what to do, a nice little table of contents if you're actually confused, tips and tricks of their own that they recommend. But we're gonna go ahead and go over to the storm, uh, to the import tab. And like I said, I'm gonna keep this video nice and short. I don't want it to be too long. Um, so I'm just gonna show you guys the basics here. So we're gonna start things off. I'm gonna go to my realm, which my realm is gonna be Storm Rage. I'm gonna type in my tune's name, which is gonna be Firemancer. And I'm just going to simply hit import. Now, what this brings up to me right here and what I'm looking at, this is going to be my tune. Um, I have WoW going on in the background. So basically, it's going to have my talents, my current gear that's equipped. It's even going to have my artifact tree outlined as well as my relics and all that jazz. So pulling back up um, SimCraft, I can see that it has all this listed. Now all this information right here, this is actually what's going to be what's called the APL. Now the APL is basically something called the actions per line, and it's basically telling the program when to use items and what those items mean. Now we're not going to go into too many details about that there, but just know that this is where you would want to go and say you wanted to adjust something like the type of potion you want to be using. You would simply, um, where it says potion, you would just change the name to the other type of potion. Or you could say um, to something like, um, say you wanted to change the type of food that we're using, right? So you would scroll up here where it says food type and you would change the name of the food. Now, uh, like I said, most, most of you guys are probably going to be using this very basically, so I don't really recommend changing too much in here. But basically, that's going to give me my, my tune. Um, now, if you ever click on here in the Options tab, this will give you basically what it is actually simming. Okay, right? So you got to remember, simming is basically, think of it as a robot who is going to do the battle for you 10,000s of times, and he's going to give you the information of what weapon was the strongest for you. Um, so I'm actually going to set this up pretty default here. Um, it's going to have 10,000 variations of it. The fight length is going to be 300 seconds, which is about five five minutes. Um, the fight style will be patchwork. I think we all know that means single target. Um, you could adjust it here. Number of, number of enemies it could be one. So if you wanted to sim things like, okay, is it going to be better on an um, A and AOE cleave fight, or is it straight up going to be better on a single target? Um, so that being said, we're going to click the simulate button. Um, now, depending on your PC, your processor time, this could take some time. Um, it also depends on how many um, types of variations you do it. But basically now, it's going to pull up my DPS here. And so on a five minute single target fight, it put my character at 347k DPS per second. 
Um, it's going to break down my damage as well. I can actually see what spell did the most damage. I can see the draft here. I can see things like my trinket, the devil sword, devil sword shock leash did this amount of damage. My potion of deadly grace did this amount of damage, right? So a lot of useful information. Um, I'm going to scroll down here a little bit longer. Um, it's going to show you actually all the abilities. It's going to break down your damage. It's going to show you their crit percentage chances and if they did crit. Now keep in mind, this number that we got at the top here, this 347k, is going to be an average of all the attempts that we ran, um, or at, that the robot ran, actually. Um, you can actually see what kind of buffs your tune got. You see there's bloodlust, there's combustion, all that. Um, it's using a defiled augmentation rune. It's using the intellect flask, um, the molten armor, which is the base staff for fire mages, and the well-fed buff of crit food. Once again, you guys remember, we are able to change those things by just adjusting the APL on the following, um, the previous tab. So if you scroll down here, you can actually click on something called the action priority list. Um, this is pretty much just going to be see what you see in that last screen. But if you take, if you click on the sample sequence table, it will basically give you an overall log of what it used and when it used it, right? So you can see right here, um, he opened up with a pre-pull timer. He had a flask. He used a he, he ate his food buff, he used his rune, he even used the potion because he's a really, really good raider, Mr. Mr. Robot here. Um, he opened up with a Pyro Blast, he dropped the rune, rune of power, and then he went right into a combustion and then an additional Fire Blast. Um, so it's basically doing uh, a, a decent opener. I want to say maybe the optimal opener, but regardless, it's still showing me that this gear, these talents, is giving me that damage. So now the next thing I want to talk about right here is an add-on that I'm going to be using in-game. That's called Simulation Craft. So literally, I just type in slash S-I-M-C. And what that's going to do is going to pull up this add-on, which can be found in the, uh, the Curse Clan. I'm also going to drop the link below. It's a very lightweight add-on. All it does is brings me up a copy and pasteable log, I guess you could say, um, that's going to have the IDs, spell IDs, the trinket IDs, uh, my, my artifact, my talents, my professions, of what's currently equipped on my tune, right? Now, before, when we went to the SimCraft, we actually imported it from the armory straight up. Now, let's say something from the raid drops. Um, we'll just test something for here. Uh, let's go with the... Um, the orb of inside. Okay, so actually, I don't want to swap out that trinket. I want to swap out this. Okay, so basically, I'm going to swap out my um, DMC card with the orb of inside. So what now? I'm going to type slash simc. It's going to give me a new log per se of gear, of new items. I mean, honestly, you wouldn't have to copy paste this entire line since we were just changing the trinket. So if all we wanted to do was change the trinket, you could do either way. But just we're, we're going to copy it all. We're going to go back to the um, simulation tab. Now, there's several ways we can do this. Um, probably to get the best accurate results would just be to go through here. Oops. Find the current gear. And copy and paste it in there. Oh, so one, I did notice one thing. So I don't necessarily want to recopy this top part. I'm just going to copy my my gear, which is going to be you know listed right here. You can read that it says head, neck, shoulders, knees and toes, blah blah blah, right? <laughs> but you're going to go back here. I'm going to copy and paste it. I'm going to replace it with my previous information that was updated from the armory. I'm going to hit simulate again, and this is going to be with the newer trinkets, and this is going to give me a um, some more results. And so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare results from this log to this log. Oh, let me just roll back up. So the number we got here was 347k, and the number we got here was 341k. So that's telling me, hey, that trinket is better than this trinket, right? Simple as that. Um, now, there's a lot of other fancy stuff you can do with it. Like I said, this video is going to be... That, that was a very, very... Um, I guess summarized version of SimCraft. Now, um, there's, like I said, there's a lot of more things you can do, a little trick, you can even get really fancy and compare an item with an item within the same APL log to give you like those nice fancy graphs that you guys um, all love and enjoy. So actually, let's go back to this real quick. So like, you know, if you, if you hop over here to something like um, say my Discord or something, 
Oh, can I find that browser? There we go, right? So if you pull to my Discord and you see like these little fancy um, graphs that I'm seeing, so this is something I pre previously simmed. Um, it's showing me that the 835 Sanu was simming lower than the 835 Baton. Um, like I said, whenever I sim something, I usually post it in my Discord, which that link's gonna be in the description below as well. And um, yeah, so I mean, that's pretty much all I'm gonna say. If you've got any other questions, feel free to post them below. Um, I know some craft can be tricky, but I mean, overall, what I just did there was pretty simple, right? I think we all can agree on that. Um, like I said, sub, like, comment, whatever you guys do here on YouTube, and uh, take it easy.